Hello there YouTube. Welcome to the first in a uh, new series, um, The Thoughts of Nobody in Particular, because I am nobody in particular. Um, this is a little series where I just chat about um, various things on my mind. And to start with, we're going to be talking about education and literature. Yeah, well, um, I was never any good at English literature. Um, I'll say that as a, as a disclaimer at the start. But towards the start, it was okay because it was stuff that I wouldn't have been necessarily reading anyway. You really sort of class, and it, I could appreciate it as sort of classics, and I could appreciate being introduced to it. Nowadays, pretty much anything can be considered literature. And not, and these broad definition of the literature subjects here, I include media and film and all sorts of other things and yeah, anything can end up in the classroom nowadays and it's getting ridiculous I mean sooner or later we're gonna have this turn up on a syllabus they're eating her and then they're going to eat me Yes, truly a classic piece of cinema. Now you may be wondering, uh, what's this to me? I have stated on many occasions that I am done with academia, I want nothing to do with academia, and um, anyone who wants me to have anything to do with academia can fuck right off. However, I am an author, I am writing um, books, and I have this fear someday some poor kid being forced to read my books um, and then told to dissect them and find things that aren't there. You may think this is a bit crazy, I am very very small scale, although I do have a loyal cadre of um, fans. You are all weirdos! Ugh. Yes, thank you, Sam. Um, yeah, I am very small scale. Um, but I still have this fear because someday um, people may pick up on role-playing games, may pick up on the novels I'm playing to write, may pick up on my plays, and may force some kid to uh, parrot some inter not parrot some interpretation of some teacher who really doesn't know what. The fuck they are talking about um and yeah it's it's one of those uh, think things i have it's it's a complete it a possibility and you may think it's crazy that role playing games would ever come up in a um a academic class at all it's not so crazy there is a thread on rpg site below where um the uh, ever entertaining RPG pundit has um, found this course that, uh, as he calls it, um, indoctrinates people with forgist bullshit. Now, I'm not into the whole story game, role playing game divide. Frankly, they've both got elements that are good, and I've kind of cannibalized them and make them into whatever I fucking want, frankly. Um, but um, what I did find interesting was that there were these people taking games made by these these people who like me just want to get out of good games a good laugh for a couple of hours uh then you can just go to the pub or have a pizza or whatever um we're not we don't want to be considered well, certainly writers like me don't want to be considered as writing literature we're not we're writing entertainment and frankly most of us don't have any deeper meaning only the really pretentious ones have them in deeper meaning uh, <laughs> white wolf um, but um, yeah we don't really want this kind of deep meaning crap on our thing and I've started writing in the back of um, books that oh I've this 
and this is what I think about things that have come up in this book, because of the fact that if I don't do that, people are going to assume the game is my ideology, because even within role-playing game critiques, role-playing game forums, there are people assigning things that aren't there. And it will only get worse if you let English teachers in on it. Because in my experience, an English teacher, um, certainly in a British context, would come up with some batshit crazy idea of what everything's supposed to mean and just roll with it, which is just stupid. And to those people who are thinking of um, taking role-playing games and pure entertainment and making a study of them, I think the Nostalgia Critic sums up my opinion. FUCK YOU! Precisely. Now, yeah, if we have to continue this farce of um, having uh, kids dissect literature for um, in a way of teaching them about it. I don't think you can teach literature myself. I think you've got to let them discover it for themselves and make up their own bloody minds, not parrot some idiot teacher's interpretation. Um, and I'm not getting at teachers here, they're just, um, there's just some of them that have, particularly English teachers, that have their preset ideas about things and intend to. Uh, to say this is my way, this is the way that will pass your exam, because that's what education is about these days, it's just exams, exams, exams. Um, so you're going to do exactly as I say, and that's not creative freedom, um, that's not letting people interpret works themselves. My interpretations of Shakespeare, for example, um, he wasn't this great artiste. He wasn't pretentious in any way. He had no no idea that his plays would last so long. He wasn't even as popular as some of the others like Marlowe and later Ben Jonson. Um, but he, he was just putting these plays on. He was having a good laugh and a lot of it is um, as being human. Hamlet is an outright um, parody of Elizabethan drama. Um, if you, it's one way of looking at it, and yet it is considered the ultimate Elizabethan drama. It's kind of like, if say in five hundred years' time they look back, and they thought that the last action hero was the greatest action hero movie of all all time. As Honest Citizen mentioned, this is rather funny. Um, and um, yeah, he was doing what we would now, what has now evolved into pantomime um, and British pantomime, which is um, a rather silly play, normally involving celebrities, general, local dignitaries dressing up and making idiots of themselves, a lot of cross dressing, a lot of audience interaction. That's basically riffing on Elizabethan and Restoration theatre. Um, and that's that's how it used to work then. And Shakespeare was just an entertainer, like like any of like any anyone currently working in this uh, in uh, entertainment. He was a uh, he was it wasn't a he wasn't necessarily a Julian Fellows. He was more of a uh, a uh, James Corden or a some kind of yeah you know, or a Ruth Jones. He he wasn't intending to make artistic work. He was just wanting to tell an entertaining story and um, have a bit of fun and yet somehow we now put all these arty, farty uh, bits of crap around his work and I really worry that if I ever gain some popularity or any significant readership whatsoever I will end up a victim of this phenomenon where just because something's old it's considered high art and 
um, just because it's it's it mentions certain themes. These themes are the reason it was written. No, it was written to entertain, and that is the only reason that these these sort of novels, plays, role playing games, films they're made to entertain. And when you you just set out to be arty, it tends to be a bit shit. Uh, just watch. Again, plugging on a citizen. Watch any of his videos and you know when they intend to be arty, they are really shit. And that's pretty much all I've got to say. I'll leave you with a little picture that Grim linked me to that I think sums it all up.